approaching this large multi-lane roundabout again. This time I'm going to go for exit number four, which is over to the right. So I check centre and right mirror, put on a right signal, glance over the right-hand shoulder, because although it's a dual carriageway with a 30 mile an hour speed limit, some people might be going a little bit faster. I can now read the road markings, helping me to get into lane number three. And I've got a green traffic signal, only just changed to amber as I was uh, going through the signal. So it's okay to keep going, it wouldn't be uh, safe to stop that close to the signal. Looking well ahead I see that there's some traffic lights in the traffic queue and I'm checking the road markings to make sure I'm still in the correct lane. I've been counting off mentally the exits. The one going off to the left now with that National Grid van is exit number, uh, number three and I'm going for exit number four. So I cancel my right signal at this point, check centre and left mirror, put a left signal on, coming across one and two lanes and leaving the roundabout. Ideally, I should have left a little bit more time for me to make those lane changes one at a time rather than trying to go across two at the same time. It's a, a difficult situation if you've got a fairly tightly curving section to the roundabout um, after uh, two flatter sides on the roundabout or after having driven through one of the flatter sides. Many roundabouts on uh, faster trunk roads have a flatter side to uh, allow the traffic to move more briskly and a tighter uh, corner to them, or bend to them I should say, where the traffic's being calmed down um, if it's going to be turning left or right. 